Hey guys, it's Nick here with Mechanic Built, and today we're going to be doing the oil change on my Ford Maverick. It's been about 10,000 miles, and I actually had this whole thing where, is it really damaging to do your first oil change when it's recommended from the dealership? Well, I don't know. I don't have the answers, but I'm going to find those answers out for you guys. So, in this video, the first video, we're going to be doing the actual oil change, and the second one is going to be looking at the data that we'll get from our oil test kit. That's right, I bought an oil test kit to see that if 10,000 miles on my Ford Maverick did any premature wear, especially towing with the Maverick or and just driving it point A to B from work. So in this video, again, like I've stated, we are going to be doing an oil change on the Ford Maverick. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button, that like notification and that bell notification. That's a lot of notifications. However, as you can see, I am kind of dressed a little bit funny because I'm about to put on coveralls and we're about to pull in the Maverick into the garage. So let's go down in the garage and get started on this oil change because, yeah, why not? Let's see if uh, we made any boo-boos. So we're gonna be starting off here by taking off our splash guard on our Ford Maverick. As you guys can see, we got it on the ramps here. And we got a little star bit here because if you look underneath, we have a whole bunch of bolts, which we need to take off. So let's take this off. That way we can get to our oil filter and our oil pan drain bolt. All right, now since we got the cover off, as you can see here, we have our original oil filter from the factory and our drain plug is gonna be right over here. By the way, if you're watching this, this is gonna be the 2.0 EcoBoost motor. This isn't the hybrid, but as you can see here, we gotta take this off and we gotta get that drained. Uh, we're gonna get this drain pan open, but before we do that, we're gonna put a little carpet here, that way we don't splash onto the garage and then we're gonna have our oil drain pan as you can see we have our oversized drip pan or drip mat here we got our oil drain pan and like i mentioned earlier in the video here is our little bottle that we got to fill up with oil and send it out so in order to do that i made sure i got some rags here because this is going to get messy so there's some rags here to make sure that if we spill on our hands i would always recommend wearing gloves we're going to crack this open and try to capture some of the oil so we could test it and see if 10,000 miles on its original oil has done any excessive wear to the engine for science. So for many of you guys that don't know, this is gonna be a 15 millimeter to crack open this drain plug. So let's pop this sucker open. Oh, yep, that is torque to spec. I like Jiffy Lube. I've been a little bit too much force and just knocked myself op open. Ah, so I want to make sure this is all clean. Looks like I got dirt and grime. I don't want that getting into our test bit here. Got our handy dandy glove on. And this might end up being a little messy. We got our oil sample right there, and let's drain the rest of this oil. So 
Rob just asked me if the oil looked pretty bad. It honestly looks pretty fairly normal. Some people were saying like, oh, the oil's pretty watery and blah, blah, blah. I mean, like, I just warmed up this oil. This looks like any normal 5W30, like, used oil, in my opinion. I don't know if it's the hybrids that they changed out because the hybrids use thinner oil. Because my Ford Fusion, right? I mean, if I had the Ford Maverick hybrid, I could tell you if that oil's normal. But I think the one video I saw was about the EcoBoost and how the guy said that he changed it like after 2,000 miles and it was really dirty and bad. I mean, people don't understand the science of oil sometimes that it's a detergent. So it's supposed to collect all the dirt and everything and prevent it from wearing into your engine. And that includes also bypass from your piston rings of fuel. So that which is going to be blow by. Actually, that's the correct term. Um, so the blow by gets collected in this gas, plus just the carbon and all that good and lovely stuff in the engine just stays in the oil. And that's why it gets black. Actually, shining the light through it, I could kind of see this oil right through this oil a tad bit. So it's not like murky black black. This is definitely six quarts though. All right, you got all the oil drained out of the Ford Maverick. So now we're gonna put the drain plug back on. Make sure the rubber O-ring that decided to stay with the block is still on there. And the torque spec for this oil drain plug is 22 foot pounds. Now, let's uh, take off our oil filter. I am gonna try this by hand and see if I could take off this oil filter by hand. If not, I bought a special handy dandy tool since I'm limited on the space up here in the Pacific Northwest and don't have all my... Oh, look at that, it's coming off by hand. So this is the factory oil filter here. I'm gonna crack that open, Should start draining out. Right there, as you guys can see. Actually, didn't need a, didn't need my specialty tool here. And this tool, if you guys are wondering, it's from OEM. It's a adjustable oil filter, and it hooks up via magnetic onto the oil filter, and you're able to twist it off if you need that extra leverage. Good rule of thumb when putting on an oil filter: once it starts sitting, just turn it three quarters of a turn, and that should perfectly sit your oil filter. So I'm just gonna let this drain while I get the new oil filter and we'll put on the new oil filter. We're gonna take off this oil filter here. Let this sucker drain the rest of the way. All right, so we got our oil filter here. We're gonna stick with Motorcraft. It is the FL910S. And if anybody forgets how to put on an oil filter, we just wanna make sure we take some of this old oil and then rim it around the oil filter gasket. As you can see, the old oil is still dripping, so we want to try to center this as much as we can. And then, like I said, when installing an oil filter, we're just going to wait till it gets to the top. It's stopped right there, and turn it about three quarters of the way. There you go. Our oil filter is done. We are actually going to use this as an oil funnel but before do, we do that we have to pour this oil into our engine and to carefully do that you got to think about these oil ports are actually designed that way you don't need a funnel and you just got to be careful And voila, that's all you need is one quart for your Ford Maverick. No, I'm just kidding. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually modify this bottle. That way we could turn it into a funnel. All right, I'm back with our modified oil quart here. I actually cut a slit on the bottom. That way it could fit onto the engine better. And I cut the bottom here. That way we could pour in our five quarts into our engine block. It's not the end of the world as always. Oh, dripped off to the side there. And the Maverick takes about 5.7. Rob, could you confirm that for me? Now, it's always nice having 
the right tool for the job, but it's not always the end of the world. So it's about 5.5. Okay, we are at nowhere near. <laughs> the nice part about having a makeshift funnel that uh, your makeshift funnel has a cap to it. Put the little cap back on. Let's check our levels. I know the vehicle's at an angle, but we just want to make sure there's oil on the dipstick. All right, this is just under full. So we'll get this nice and warmed up. That way you can actually truly see our levels and we'll go from there. Now, let's go underneath again and let's put that panel back up onto the bottom of our Ford Maverick. All right, before we put on the pan back or the splash guard back onto the Ford Maverick, Rob's gonna actually start up the Maverick and I'm gonna check and make sure there's no leaks. Yeah. That was weird. Um, there's a little slot back here. That actually helps you put on this uh, cover. You have to be mindful of that. Let me give you a little handle to help you bend it. There you go. That's actually a lot easier because my Ford Fusion, there was nothing helping you hold this sucker up. <laughs> that completes our oil change for the Ford Maverick. All right, so this is gonna be a two-parter, like I said. This like I said, this is not a two-parter. Do not listen to me from the past. Second part is when we get our oil analysis in, I'll be making a video on that. This one I got on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below, like always, and all the tools that I use and all the accessories that are on this Ford Maverick. Now, we just pretty much uh, send this in. We put in our information of our vehicle on this pamphlet, send that in with our oil sample, and hopefully, we don't have any premature wear because like I said, people always have this thing is like, oh, I always change my oil every 1,000, 2,000 miles after I purchase my vehicle. Or you're like me, I just do it 5,000 miles just to be safe because ten. this is 10,000 miles. And even though this isn't as bad as some oils that I have seen, it's just a good practice to change your oil every 5,000 miles. But the data will tell us otherwise. Other than that, guys, if you enjoyed watching this video, I really appreciate you guys watching our shenanigans and watching us just do automotive stuff here. Now, if you haven't subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button, that bell notification, and definitely give this video a like. Comment below if you've done oil changes before the 10,000 miles, before the Maverick actually told you to do an oil change, or are you waiting and seeing if a video like this comes out, and uh, hopefully that changing your oil every 10,000 miles isn't going to destroy your car. So as you guys can see here from oil analysis from undermyhood.com, as you can see here, the data is shown and I think I may have screwed up. I've actually heard that when these Mavericks actually came out of the factory, they might have used 5W20 because the only thing that came back negative, or I should just say, in the data was that the oil was thinner than normal. It just said to check for excessive idling or verify the viscosity in use. Um, but everything, all the parameters are actually pretty normal. The data shows here that it's normal break and wear. If you'd like me to kind of go over each and every single, like what does the calcium mean? What does the magnesium mean? Phosphorus, I can go over this channel. There are actually plenty of videos out there on YouTube that talk about Pretty much what does it mean to have X amount of silicone, X amount of iron, copper in your oil. And pretty much I can do a video like that, but this is just kind of to show you for those that want to know in general, especially here, the current interpretation, this oil is completely normal for a Ford Maverick at 10,000 miles. My name is Nick, this is Mechanic Built, and until next time. <laughs> I actually have the key, I think. Yep. There we go. I don't
kill this guy, I'm gonna have to do another video. Besides, the garage door. Okay, I'm gonna start that again. We'll uh, sample two. I'm gonna restart because you, the door.